Thank you, Jeff. Well, after hearing a full day of arguments, a judge has reserved decision on the Buffalo Teachers Federation's quest to have kids go back to remote learning. Buffalo was the last school in the state to allow a select number of students to return to classrooms this week, but the union claims the schools remain unsafe. We get more now from Channel 2's Dave McKinley. The union called as witnesses several teachers who claimed their classrooms don't get cleaned and garbage isn't emptied. One testified to having found a mouse dead in a trap and despite alerting the principal, coming in the next day to find it still there and the mess it left before it expired. An attorney representing the union grilled superintendent of schools Kreiner Cash about this. Do you think that rodent feces on a desk is acceptable cleanliness? I haven't heard about that, replied Cash. It hasn't risen to my level, but I know through the years we've had that issue because there are rodents in the city. Do you think it's acceptable for multiple days to go by without trash receptacles being emptied? In the city, asked Cash. No, in your schools, the lawyer said. I haven't heard about that either. Do you think it's acceptable for classrooms to go multiple days without being sanitized? If the school is closed, offered Cash, this past week, with students coming back to school, the attorney persisted, do you think it's acceptable for any classroom to go multiple days without being cleaned? I have not heard that, but I expect the schools to follow CDC guidelines and that it gets taken care of. That's my expectation. For its part, the district noted none of those things have anything to do with the spread of COVID and accused the union of being uncooperative in the reopening effort and having its own agenda. The union said it tried to address airborne safety by bringing in an industrial hygienist, but that the district wouldn't allow them in. The district noted, and the judge agreed, there's nothing in the CDC or state guidelines requiring such an effort. On an interesting side note, Superintendent Cash said even after the pandemic is over, remote learning will remain for some. Those few students, he said, who it appears are better served by learning from home, and that the district plans to have an academy of remote learning up and running next year to accommodate them. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.